Culture is the extensive sedimentation of thoughts, behavior, and influences. It cannot be disassembled and recomposed. It has to be lived. India in its 18th and 19th century was swayed by a series of regional and cultural influences through invasions, which brought about a multifaceted culture that reflected in its built environment. The beautiful port city of Ratnagiri lies along the southwestern coast of Maharashtra, forming a part of the greater tract known as the Konkan region, a charming stretch of land on the western coast of India. The king of Burma was a unique personality. He was also the king to achieve degree in the entire Myanmar history in Bali. Due to the interventions of British Empire and apprehensive of a revolt from his followers, Deba was sent along with his family and servants first to Madras and then to Ratnagiri. In order to adequate him and his family the royal way, Deba Palace was built. There were two architectural styles observed in the Thiba Palace, the colonial and the Burmese, along with hints of indus scenic architecture. Since it was built in the 19th century as a brainchild of the British government, colonial architecture is dominant. During the construction of the palace, the presence of the king on the site led to the addition of the Burmese style. The palace complex is perceived as a unified composition of a unit module along a single axis. Each of the three blocks is symmetrically repeated in an orderly pattern. Colonnade spaces flank these courts on the ground level, while projecting corridors overlook them from the upper floors. The centrally located courtyard and the water fountain is a part of the colonial architecture and provides wind circulation. Interconnecting passages overlooking the courtyard. The palace is built in elaborate stone and in lime mortar. Also with the use of teakwood, an influence of the Burmese architecture is seen to a large extent. Colonial style porch is provided with multiple smaller arches to provide more lighting and ventilation. The palace is built in elaborate stone and in lime mortar. Also with the use of teakwood, an influence of the Burmese architecture is seen to a large extent.
The most significant Burmese features observed at the churchyards were the windows openings typical to that of the Burmese architecture. Peripheral corridors connect different parts of the palace. Hidden staircases were exclusively used by the royal family and the British officers. The bifurcated Burmese style staircases lead to the chambers of the princesses. Staircases are typically identified with its formal expression and decoration with minimal ornamentation and embellishment. There are three types of staircases and each served its function in varied forms. The exposed wooden roof system adds to the feeling of spaciousness to the space. On the first floor, the grandest of all spaces, the coast room epitomizes and highlights the influence of the colonial as well as the Burmese architecture, ranging from the colonial balusters to the Burmese gargoyles and even from the two distinct styles of the Indo-Crescent. The mezzanine floor was used during the court sessions. Not only do the brackets act as the structural members but also as ornamental features having Burmese influence. The garden of Thiba Palace that we see today are not more than a colonial interpretation of the Burmese intervention. The synthesis and the amalgamation of British and Burmese traditions are both inevitable and desirable. The construction of the palace was almost completed in the year 1910, as the palace received occupation certificate in March of 1910. The Rajiwala village is situated around 4 kilometers from the Thiba Palace. It was originally identified as a common site for fishing, but with a significant growth it has now become a well-known port in Ratnagiri. A village along the Konkan coast in the district once housed Havelis and big houses during the colonial era, and the distinctive type of the local houses of the residents, namely Kumbi, Maratha, Brahmin and the Muslims.
sequential unfolding of spaces, a gradual transition from the outdoors to the indoors, and integration of the traditional courtyard. These are the principles of space making. Internal courtyards are surrounded by the built bus. Internal courtyards surrounded by the built mass creates an introverted responses, allowing activities to spill into it. Irregularity of setbacks forms the interactive spaces. Staggered road pattern for a better vantage point. One of these oldest standing houses at 220 years, the building is one of the few houses that share a visual resemblance to that of the Theba Palace. Built on a stone plinth, it is the arched colonnades that adds to the character. Symmetric planning and the distinguished hierarchy of spaces are the principles of space making. Very few public buildings that you find in Rajivada are the fishery school, the high school and the masjids. Arranged around the primary streets, the hutments are cleared to mine the courtyard house at a community level with the interactive spaces and the front and the rear of the wards. This cluster called Wadas is conceptually mirrors the courtyard house. Social hierarchies are visibly entrenched in the spatial planning with the lower caste living in the foothills of the Golden region while the members of the higher moved up. Mm-hmm. 